Hey there, my name is Dr. Cork and today I'm going to make cocktails without ice. I often read comments saying, why do you add so much ice? It dilutes the cocktail, why should I drink just water? There's also a recurring joke that ice and foam are the bartender's best friends. But these comments are written, of course, by people who don't really understand cocktails. The main point of which is to mask the taste of alcohol and to make the drinking experience more enjoyable. And cooling down the drink is an essential step in making cocktails, as is dilution. Also, the more ice you add to a cocktail, the faster it cools it down and, therefore, the less watered down it becomes. So the less ice, less watered down logic is inherently flawed. All that being said, there is a type of cocktail called scaffa. Scaffas are drinks mixed and served at room temperature, no ice and no dilution. Recipes can be found as far back as in the 1860s in Jerry Thomas's classic book, The Bartender's Guide, and more modern interpretations may use a small amount of water. The beauty of the scaffa is that you just pull the bottles, combine in a glass, and give it a slight stir. A drink served at room temperature may take a little getting used to, but they're a great option when I'm looking for something simple and quick. Today I'm going to make some scaffa cocktails, and let's start with the earliest one, which is mentioned in Jerry Thomas's book, called Brandy Scaffa. I'll deviate a little from the original recipe, as there goes brandy and one-to-one -one maraschino liqueur, and it's a little too sweet and too maraschino, so I've changed the ratio a little bit. For this cocktail we're gonna use an old-fashioned or rocks glass, to which I'm going to add brandy, 3 quarters of an ounce, 45 milliliters, then we add maraschino or maraschino liqueur, 3 quarters of an ounce, and a dash of Angostura bitters. Stir it a little bit. Express a little bit of essential oils from an orange peel and garnish with it. Ah, great aroma. Brandy plus maraschino liqueur, uh, a great combination. It's a strong cocktail, it's a sweet cocktail, but all the tastes are in balance. If you like stronger and warmer cocktails, then it's for you. I'm not a fan of strong cocktails, I prefer highballs or long drinks, but this one definitely deserves a tasting. Cheers! The next cocktail I'm going to make is called Room Temperature Manhattan. It was created in Slowly Shirley, a cocktail bar in New York City, and to make it we're gonna need a cocktail glass. The original recipe calls for rye whiskey, but I don't have it, instead I have a great bourbon. 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. Then we're gonna need red sweet vermouth, 1 ounce, 30 milliliters. Then to compensate the lack of dilution during stirring, we're gonna need some water, 3 quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters, and a couple dashes of Angostura bitters. Stir the cocktail a little bit and garnish with a cocktail cherry. <sighs> oh, it's strong. It's not as strong as the previous one and not as sweet, but it's a good thing we added uh, a little bit of water because otherwise it would be just bourbon <laughs> with a little bit of vermouth. If you like Manhattan, you should try it also. You can taste all the ingredients more clearly because of the temperature. Nice one. Next one. And the last cocktail for today is the Warm Pilgrim from Elixir, the cocktail bar from San Francisco. It's made with whiskey in a rocks glass. To which we're gonna add wild turkey or other bourbon, but the recipe calls for wild turkey 101. I don't have it, I have the regular wild turkey. 2 ounces, 60 milliliters. Then we're gonna need a maraschino or maraschino liqueur, one bar spoon. Cranberry juice, preferably freshly squeezed from cranberries, also one bar spoon. Bitters. You can use cardamom bitters or something like regular Angostura bitters, I prefer orange bitters. One dash. And the last thing we're gonna need is a cinnamon stick. It should be fresh and aromatic and it will give our cocktail uh, spicy notes and warm. Put it inside the glass. Stir a little. And leave it for at least five minutes for the cocktail to infuse with the cinnamon flavor. The more you leave it for, the more flavor it gets. The aroma of cinnamon 
combined with the bourbon. It, uh, it's making me feel festive. <laughs> I want to go to the fireplace and sit there. Mm. It's strong. It's nuanced. And uh, the more you uh, wait, the more flavor of the cinnamon gets into the cocktail. So you can just add bourbon or other ingredients and you'll have just more cocktail. Thanks for watching, hit like and subscribe to my channel. All the recipes in text form are on my website dr-cork.com. The link is in the description of this video. And as always, do svidos! Bonus cocktail for those of you who have watched till the end. The cocktail is called How Do I Compare? It's a scaffa featured in Sotatig's book I'm just here for the drinks. And it's an interesting one. And I wanted to make something contemporary to compare it with old cocktail recipes. So let's begin. The cocktail is mixed in the rocks glass to which we're gonna add apple brandy. You can use Calvados or Applejack or something apple-like. Three quarters of an ounce, 22 milliliters. Bourbon, also three quarters of an ounce. Benedictine liqueur. In the original recipe it says uh, half an ounce, 15 milliliters, but I find it too sweet, so I add about 10 milliliters, so one third of an ounce. And triple sec, or Cointreau, or some other strong, clear orange liqueur. Half an ounce, 15 milliliters. And a couple dashes of bitters. If you have apple bitters, this is great. Or you can just use regular Angostura. Stir it a little bit. And garnish with an orange peel. Very complex aroma and flavor. It's fruity, bitter, sweet, herbal from the Benedictine, but not too sweet. It was a great call for me to use 10 ml instead of 15 ml of uh, liqueur, Benedictine. I like this cocktail. As for me, I prefer such cocktails on the rocks, but that's just me. <laughs> this cocktail was created like this, like a scaffa, so we have to respect the author. But after my camera is switched off, I'm gonna... <laughs> you know what. It's 10 out of 10. All the scaffas I made today, this one is the best. Uh, also, I have an Instagram, by the way, and TikTok, and you should definitely subscribe to that.